today we're going to learn how to draw a seahorse. Wow, brilliant. Start by drawing the outline, a curvy line. Coming back around from the bottom to make a tail. Starting on the other side now. Then we're going to do the snout and the long nose. And the head. Then we're going to do our fin, a wing-like part of the body. Finishing the border, we can start to do the facial features. So we're doing an eye. And then the scales that go along the back, kind of like a spiky back. Then some curvy lines. Finishing touches, so some lines on the tummy. Then we can do some sea plants around. Since seahorses normally live in sea, algae and coral reefs. We're going to just blacken up the border so that way when we colour it in the colours will really stand out. And our sea plants too. We're going to colour the main body of the seahorse in yellow. You can use a colour that you really like if you want. Did you know the seahorses are mainly found in shallow tropical salt water throughout the world? They live in sheltered areas like seagrass, estuaries, coral reefs and mangroves. You can find them in Pacific waters from North to South America. You can also find them in the Bahamas. They have been found in European waters too. And even in the Mediterranean Sea. Seahorse gets its name because of its horse-like appearance, its horse-like face and the body being a sea creature. Did you know that it comes from an ancient Greek word, hippocampus? Hippos meaning horse and campos meaning sea monster, since it has a head and neck suggestive of a horse. And it also features a segmented body armour, an upright posture and a curled tail. Now we're painting the spiky back pink. We love that pink against the yellow. What colour would you like to use for your seahorse? Maybe you could do a multi-coloured spine. You could start a new colour at each spiky point. That would be interesting. You could do the same on the tummy. Multi-coloured stripy tummy. We're doing it orange. I think that seahorse is wondering what's going on. Who's that colouring my tummy, he says. Did you know that seahorses range in size from 1.5 to 35.5 centimetres? That's quite a range. I have to say they are very beautiful creatures. Have you ever seen one? A real one? Colour the snout in orange as well. Just shading our lines on the tummy. We like that nice shading effect. Slightly darker orange there. Now time to do the fin, which looks a bit like a wing. Doing that orange to match the tummy. Again, you can choose any colour you like and even split each segment into a different colour. We're using nice thin tipped pens here so that we can carefully shade in between the lines. A bit of a deeper orange on the lines. Gorgeous, look at that. Time to colour in our sea plants. Green, of course. This can be our algae. Doesn't that green colour really make the gorgeous seahorse stand out? 
It looks lovely next to the orange and yellow and pink. This could be algae or it could be coral. Even seaweed. Now we're going to do some blue for the water and some bubbles. It's the finishing touches that make all the difference. And there you have it. Seahorse.
subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art!